I'm going to be talking about the nature of creativity, and I'll begin with a definition. I think the best definition is actually one that we can give using poetry. Uh, creativity is the ability to see a world in a grain of sand, and a heaven in a wild flower, to hold infinity in the palm of your hand, and eternity in an hour. <laughs> I've read those many times, they still send chills up my spine. Uh, What is creativity, and can anyone have it? The answer is yes. Anybody can be creative, but according to Dr. Nancy Anderson, the link between creativity and mental illness is very apparent. She claims that people who struggle with mental illness have shown to be more creative than those who aren't. Isaac Newton, Beethoven, Albert Einstein, Vincent van Gogh are just some of the many names of those who have suffered from mental illness and have shown to the world their creative genius. Now, does that mean that you have to suffer from mental illness to be creative? Absolutely not. Several great human beings who have walked this earth are extremely creative and have not suffered with a mental illness. But the amount of creative individuals that have suffered from mental illness is something we should not ignore. For example, Leonardo da Vinci, who is often referred to as a Renaissance man and someone who many people consider to have been one of the greats, suffered from mental illness. Da Vinci, a sculptor, inventor, artist, mathematician, a polymath, and much more, struggled with dyslexia and ADHD. But even then, he was able to create some of the world's most beautiful art and lay the blueprints for a few of the world's modern inventions. Another example of this phenomenon would be Pablo Picasso. Picasso was a master painter, sculptor, ceramics artist, and writer. His art style was mostly realism and cubism. Picasso was known to have struggled with depression. In fact, for a short period of time, Picasso had a blue period which illustrated his paintings in mainly shades of blue and small axes of color. Many have linked this to this period of struggle with depression. Lastly, Tim Burton is an American film director, producer, artist, writer, and animator. He is known for his dark eccentric and quirky fantasy films such as Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, Alice in the Wonderland, and much more. Burton is said to struggle with depression, and some have said bipolar disorder. Nancy suggests that a common thread with creative people that suffer with mental illness is a broad interest in many fields. The common thread can also be seen in Hamlet and its several characters. For example, Hamlet, in response to his father's death, was able to create an entire play which he passionately displayed. Dr. Nancy quotes that creative people work much harder than the average person, and that's usually because they love their work.